Jean-Claude, welcome to the second part of our podcast, Leaders in the Industry. Um, you are holding a keynote speech in our Richmond Finance Directors Forum in Interlaken in September, um, where I have the honor to interview. And um, we had our first part of the podcast with uh, a lot of interesting and, and um, meaningful expressions from your side so i would like to continue because there's one another question or some some few questions that i would like to still announce you were you are working in the luxury business in the watch industry and you are very close to the whole luxury industry challenges you had to face while working in this luxury business and the challenges how did you overcome these challenges Oh, the, 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 the challenges uh, in my business are the same as the challenges in every business. And the way to overcome it uh, are also the same. You have to be creative. Uh, a problem can only be solved when you find an appropriate solution. And the appropriate solutions are not always ready Uh, and you cannot always read them in a book because the problems have such a huge variety that you should never forget to have creativity. Creativity is not only in the department of R&D. Creativity must also be in the finance market or in the management market. And this is for me always the best answer. What How can I answer? How can I uh, fight against this disease or against this problem? And there you have the imagination of people. Creativity is extremely important in every department, in every position, not just in the R&D. Okay, very good. Yeah. Um, well, we did read a lot about What are some plans? Can you give us, uh, in a nutshell, a little bit more information about your plans in the near future? Is there a special project coming up? Yes, there's a, pro a, a special project coming up. That's the, the brand JC Beaver, uh, a brand that uh, has my name, that is managed by my son and myself. And it's the brand uh, of Papa and uh, and. Uh, and father and son. And we are launching this brand and the first watch will be sent to a customer uh, end of March, 2023. So that's a part of my future. After 50 years, I finally decided that I would uh, launch my own brand. Uh, and what is this brand? Uh, that's a brand where I will uh, do where I will express um, everything I could not do while during those 50 years, because I don't want to repeat anything that I did before, because I hate repetition. And repetition is the contrary of creativity. <laughs> creativity is when you invent new, and I am not at all uh, ready to repeat myself. So I will go into a field where I could never go. And this field, I will call it, it's to master the invisibility. Whatever you cannot see must be mastered. That's, that's the highest quality you can achieve. For instance, if you have screws, and we have an average of 50, 80 screws per uh, movement, nobody, will de decorate a screw because the screw is a screw and nobody sees it. It's inside, in the box, in the, in the watch. And although nobody sees it, we want to polish every screw, polish to a degree that is called black polish. And it takes about one hour per screw. So if you have 100 screws, you have 100 hours, 100 hours at 200 or 250 Swiss francs Uh, cost that gives you that gives you uh, uh, 25,000 Swiss francs just for polishing the screws, which nobody can see. Nobody. But that's what we want to master. That is the extreme 
quality <coughs> that only in a museum or only in the 16th or 17th century was capable to do. And that, that sense, that type of concept, I am now la launching uh, in March 2023. Uh, before you mentioned the, the costs and the price, I wanted to ask you, where can I apply for a watch? After mentioning um, how many screws are in a watch and what one screw will cost, maybe um, I postpone this application a little bit. Okay, I agree. <laughs> we have anyhow, we have orders for a few years. So uh, uh, <laughs> your cancellation, I will feel it only in 2026. And then okay. I will call you back. Maybe by then you can, you, you will change your mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm saving money until. <laughs> Um, well, thank you very much. Last question. Um, you, you're going to hold one of our keynote speeches at the Financial Industry for, uh, Finance Directors Forum. Turbulent times require entrepreneurial spirit with sustainable decisions. Can you a little bit lead into this? Um, when you say that there's entrepreneurial spirit and sustainable decisions, it sounds very familiar with what you just explained about the watch you or the brand and watch and the, the, the quality of watch. Is this the case of sustainability you're talking about? Uh, my sustainability is that I am, uh, we are producing not just a, uh, an indication of time, not just a timekeeper, but we try to give a soul to our watches. It's like the Pinocchio. The Pinocchio was in wood and he never moved. And suddenly Pinocchio became uh, uh, like a human being. This is symbolic, but that's the symbol that a product, when you try to master it, to the extreme, to the ultimate degree, probably the product will start to be into, uh, uh, into waves of, of, uh, of, uh, of perfection. And so must, can eventually take birth from there. And that's our objective. Don't make just a dead product, make a product that has a soul. Yes, but how can I make a soul? Well, how do you do? It depends on your fingers. It depends on your mentality. It depends on your positivity. It depends on how do you think when you are building it. And if you are positive, and if every screw that you screw, you have just one second or two seconds of positive thinking. Wow, I love my job. I hope that the, the person who will buy this watch will have a, a satisfaction. And slowly, slowly, you have a product that is taking birth and together with the soul. And the soul is, for me, more important than the indication what time it is. What time it is, I can even look at my, uh, my iPhone. The timekeeping is not the essential. The essential is... Thanks to the timekeeping, what do we achieve? Do we achieve to give to a product a soul? Can Apple have a soul in this pro product? No, never, because it's, it's not handmade. It's made by machine. And in three years, it's, ob it's obsolete. While my watch in 100 years will never be obsolete because it's art. It's like a Picasso painting. It's like a Mozart music. It can never be obsolete. And art has no competition. The soul has not a competitor. So that is what we try to obtain. That was um, very impressive because uh, really to in the interpretation of sustainability with the soul is um, for me at least um, a very valid interpretation and helps a lot. And it, uh, creates a lot of fun meeting you again in September when we are on stage and I can uh, have more time. I think we have 45 to 50 minutes time for an interview and get a deeper look and deeper insight into your point of view on several things. 
Jean-Claude, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much for this podcast. And again, looking forward to seeing you again in September in Interlaken for the Richmond Finance Directors Forum. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the questions and the podcast. Bye-bye.